This video shows you startup projects on IBM Cloud. So here is the storyboard for today for this video. Three things. The first thing is create or log in IBM Cloud 30-day try account. So this is the URL. And then after create, you know, we try to create a project. Either the what's an IoT project or just a node rate project. What's an IoT project including the not ready project plus the what's an IoT platform. So number three is we will create a not ready flow on the on this project, so which is an IoT simulator. So let's start from the number one. Number one is to create. So I already have our IBM Cloud account created. So I directly log in. And uh, the email I'm going to use is, I'm going to use the one I just created, forest IBM01 at gmail.com. Remember me, continue, the password. OK. So this, this is the main page of the IBM Cloud. And uh, there are two things that are most uh, important for the status, for the beginners. Right? The first thing is the dashboard. This is dashboard. So whenever you get problem or get lost, you always want to go back to the dashboard. So here is the click this, and the dashboard is here. So always come to dashboard, remember. And the second page is important is to go to the catalog. In the catalog, there is the start kits. So there are two projects started. One is IoT starter, one is not ready starter. As I just mentioned, IoT starter and is including the includes the not ready starter and also includes the IoT platform. So let's start from the IoT platform starter. And I give a name, FAR IoT01, FMR IoT01. And uh, here, get the information. This is the region information. We get the US region. Let's get start. It could take like a few seconds or a few minutes to have the cloud provision the instance and a starter instance. So I pause the video in case it takes too long time. Okay, after a few minutes, the server is getting started and provisioned. So everything looks good. As you can see, the this is a dashboard for the project FMR IoT01, and you can see including the IoT platform and also including a database is called a Cloudant. And uh, from this page, we always click the link, which directs us to the Node Rate Editor. So here, you know, we click Next. Remember, in the real development, it is not recommend to avoid configuration of the security, but Today I just give an example, so I just choose this case, so we don't need to uh, worry about the password. I'm going to delete this instance after the video anyhow. So now I click Finish. This brings us to the not read editor. OK. Now you click go to the flow editor, so we get get to the starting page. So here, uh, flow one is the starting page of our simulator, and uh, you can see the data sent to the IoT platform, and then IoT platform, and then do something. It's already get connected. Uh, we either delete this flow, or you know we just uh, choose another. Okay, so. We start another flow, you know, we start from the inject, 
and uh, oh, before that is uh, you can see there are many nodes available, but you can always add the new nodes. So how can we add new nodes? Yes, manage platform install. For example, there is called a random nodes. It's pretty useful, but not in the default. So we can install it here. Okay, install successfully. If you search the random, and you can see here, so you can use the random nodes and it can randomly generate the data. Um, and uh, so here you can get some function nodes so that you get the data right, connected and you get another random nodes. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell you why I do this. And I got another function node. Okay. And uh, so far, you know, you got two variables. And now it's the one more function node that connected and connect to the debug. So, what we are going to do. Yes, if you go to my slides, we try to create a simulate to create temperature and the uh, humidity, right? The two data and two random node uh, trade. And I already have the code prepared. The code number one is copied to this function node. And the code number two. is copied here okay and in this piece of code is really we put together the JSON so that we can get it right so here we can change this is uh, the temperature is 0 to 100 and uh, we give name temperature -E temperature creation creator Okay, here is humidity. This is humidity is 30% to 60% typically. H U M I. Greater. Okay, and uh, so we got both. Now, if we just uh, configure the start time mode here. We can say um, inject repeat at interval say every three seconds. Okay, I think it's good enough. If we get deployed, these let's debug to project okay it is an object now we will try to make it a JSON we can use the JSON node to enforce it to the JSON and always con convert to the JSON string in this case, after you deploy, you will see the data on here. This concludes today's this video.